and we're back to using generated fill and we'll apply it to a video yet again this time I'm going to turn a vertical into a horizontal video I've picked the clip where it's possible but it also shows you the limitations you got a Premiere Pro pick maybe such a frame and we'll take a snapshot let me call that tutorial I'll export it as a JPEG I'll just put it on my desktop, but on a browse you can put it where you can easily find it. Let us switch to Photoshop. Make sure your canvas size. I'm oh, sorry, the canvas size, not image size. Canvas size right here. It's set to 9020 times 1080. Then import your tutorial snapshot from Premiere Pro. I use the rectangle marquee tool. And I have it set to add to selection. So I can select both sides at the same time, like this. Generate a fill. Leave the prompt empty and just generate. From time to time, the results aren't that good, so you might need to regenerate it. But in this case, we have good results. I think I should keep the last one. Next step. Make everything invisible except for the generation. So that should be the top layer. File export. Let me make a quick export as a PNG. It's important that it's a PNG. Save it where you can find it. Switch back to your video editor. Import this Photoshop file. Put it on top of your video file. And there you go, it looks alright. Hope we have some differences when it comes to color. We can use color correction. Let me just add a simple brightness and contrast effect to the top clip. So our Photoshop generated V2 file right here. There's the brightness and contrast and effect controls. I'll adjust it and it looks like a seamless transition now between the rear video and our photo clip. So we were able to fix that, but whenever the lighting changes in the video, we still have a problem. You can see that if I roll the clip, everything's fine up until here when the hand comes into the frame. There's a shadow of the hand, you can see that on the right hand side and this gives away the transition between the video and our photo. So you don't just need a steady camera shot, it's also a good idea to watch the lighting when you want to use this effect. Still better than nothing but these are the limitations right now, but you can try to use this method to turn your vertical into horizontal videos. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.